uh, data destruction. So in this lesson, we're going to talk about what do you do when you want to get rid of a hard drive? How do you properly get rid of that data so it doesn't come fall into the wrong hands? So we have low level and we have standard formats. Okay? Low level, it's a format done by the BIOS. It erases the pointers on the data on the drive, not the data itself. So we talked about this where you look at a file allocation table, for instance, it's a table of contents. It points to where on the drive it's located. If I erase that table, it ends up uh, simply erasing the pointers. I can still get the data off. So it's not going to completely erase the data. It's better than a standard format, but it's still not perfect. Okay? A standard format is done by the operating system itself. It's done by Windows. Um, essentially, it does the same thing. It's erasing the pointers to the drive, not the data itself. So again, neither of these is really going to clear off all the data from the hard drive. So if you take that computer and you donate it to Goodwill, somebody can still get your data back. So we're going to talk about the ways that you can actually prevent that and still donate that computer. Number, uh, the second one we have here is hard drive sanitation, right? So what do you do with this old PC that's no longer needed? The first way is you can destroy the hard drive, uh, just like Nick said. Smash it with a hammer, as you can see here. Drill holes through the platter, uh, as you can see here. Any way you can do it so that it cannot physically be recovered, okay? If somebody wants to get the data off this drive, it's possible, but they're gonna have to put a lot of effort into it and they're probably not gonna waste their time, right? So many data recovery programs can read deleted files, so you gotta make sure you destroy that drive. Now, if you wanna donate this computer to Goodwill, that kinda defeats the purpose because they can't use the computer anymore. So instead, what you should do is overwrite the drive um, if you're going to donate the computer. And you can remove the data with what's called a DOD 5220.22M uh, compliant program. All that means is it's a DOD standard that they wrote up, um, and this comes from your textbook, um, and it overwrites the entire drive with zeros. So it'll go through the entire hard disk and put a zero in every spot. Okay? And it can do this one time, it can do it three times, seven times, or 35 times. If you're paranoid, you go for 35. If you do one and donate to Goodwill, you're going to be fine. Don't freak out too much about it. This is also called a secure overwrite. Okay? And again, the more times you write it with zeros, the more securely it's overwritten. Okay? Uh, CVD, CDs, DVDs, and floppy disks, physically destroy them. You can put them through a shredder. Okay? You have to have a shredder that's capable of doing CDs and DVDs. If you don't, you can break them into a bunch of pieces. Okay? Um, floppy disk, you want to break the outside casing, take the film on the inside, the magnetic disk, run it through a shredder, any paper shredder will shred that just fine. Yes, Nick? So, literally what you're telling us is that the camera is the most important thing. Uh, if you're destroying a lot of hard drives, yes. Yeah. Um, if you're tasked with removing data from a hard drive using the quickest method without regard to the total destruction of the hard drive, what method would you use? What's the quickest way to destroy a hard drive? Smash it with a hammer, drill some holes through it, right? Those kind of things would work well. If you're disposing of your old PCs and you want to, um, what method should you use to get rid of the data on those hard drives? You could overwrite it if you want to donate them, or you could smash it with a hammer, right? They just said we're getting rid of the PCs. We might be throwing them away. So again, we can, we can smash them, right? Smash and destroy. Because uh, again, that is the most effective way if we're not reusing it. And then the third one, we want to donate it to a nonprofit. What method would we use? In that case, we would overwrite it, right? Zeros to the drive 35 times. I would still destroy it. Do not ever sell or get a laptop with your old hard drive in really short. Yeah, very short lesson, right? So again, if you need to rebuild a computer that had a virus, which of the following data destruction methods should be used to ensure the virus has been successfully erased before installing the operating system programs and all user data? Yeah, A, just a standard format will work. We can go into the operating system. We can put the, you know, if we're going to reinstall the operating system, put in the Windows CD or DVD, boot it up into the setup, do a quick partition and format of the hard drive, and then install it. There's no problem there. 